Hi, this is Sean from MP3 Car. I'd like to show you the place to get all the best car PC apps in one location. Here, the AutoAppMart.com brings together all the greatest developers for car PC apps, giving you audio apps, OBD2 apps, GPS apps, all the different plugins, front ends, and skins, all in one location. Let's start by browsing the App Mart and see how easy it is to find things. This front screen right here will bring together all the latest apps. As soon as a developer puts an app out and makes it active, it shows up here. We've got paid apps first, and then the free apps, all on this screen. So if we want to drill down and discover apps by category, we can come over here to find an app. So we can actually find apps by price. So if we drop this arrow down, we can get apps that are for donate, apps that are free, and apps that are paid. And you can actually drop these down even more and see all the different categories that are free. So then we can actually go to the category view. So this is all the different types of apps that there may be. If there's an arrow, that means that there's actually uh, that, that there are actually more apps inside of each category. If there's no arrow, that means it's only one app right here. So we can drop these arrows down and see that there's the category center fuse under tools and utilities. And we drop down trial version, you can see that there's a trial version of center fuse right here. You can even drill down by front end. So all the different kinds of front ends that we have on the store here, you can actually drop these down and see all the different kinds of apps that are under each front end. So let me just go into one to show you. So we're on Centerfuse. If we go into plugins, it's going to pull up all the plugins for Centerfuse. So it literally takes two clicks to find all the Centerfuse plugins. Just go front end, Centerfuse plugins, and here you are. All the Centerfuse plugins that we've got on the App Mart right here. And you can sort these for you. You can go alphabetical, you can see which is the newest apps on here. You can even see which is the most popular and sort by price. Now price is going to bring the paid apps to the top since most of the apps on the App Mart, actually 99% of the apps on the App Mart are free. So you can sort these apps any way that you like. You can even, over here, choose your category by operating system. So if you specifically want apps for OS X, you can choose that and choose OBD2. And it's going to pull up OBD GPS Logger, which is the app that we have for Mac OS X. Now, down here, if you're looking for a front end, this is also a great place to go. Because not only can you find all the apps, but you can also find your front end. So here, we can choose one like Driveline which is by a developer at Clockwork, and here is Driveline's product page. It gives you all the different description at once, all the requirements, features, and when you get down here to screenshots, you can actually click on these screenshots, and you can cycle through all the screenshots the developer has given you to view all the different things that this app offers, in this case, this front end. And if you're logged in, you can even write a review on this if you want, and then it'll be published to the app mark. So we can also filter by best sellers. So you can see right now that CF Vehicle Maintenance, number one on the App Mart, has been downloaded the most times by developer Sonic Ecstasy. So once you're on a product page, um, I've already showed you a little bit, but you can see it'll also list you the categories that it's all listed in. And if you want to visit the page by the developer, you can actually click the developer page and It'll actually bring you to the page for Sonic Ecstasy and show you all the apps that Sonic has put on the App Mart. And this works with any developer. You can actually pull up any developer's page and it'll show you all the apps that they've created. Now, how to actually download these apps. It's really, really simple. The only prerequisite to downloading an app is that you have an MP3 car forum account. If you don't have a forum account, you can head on over to mp3car.com, click on forum, and then once you're in here, and you're not logged in, over on the left side here will be a section called register. So just register and then you can start downloading apps. Once you're here and you're at the home screen, all you have to do is log in with your form details. There's no extra signing up, none of that. All you got to do is go over here to the right side and click login. Then just enter your forum username and password right here. And once you're logged in, now you can actually see you can log out or choose your account. But let's just quickly download one of these just uh, to show you how simple it is. Now, all these have Add to Cart that are, uh, that are paid, and you'll go through the Add to Cart process. But these that are free, I can just click Download, and it'll instantly feed me the download. There you go. I've just downloaded CF Oliver that quickly. Instant downloads. Now, to see all of our statistics and see if we need to re-download an app, you could download it from here, but you can go into My Account, and this is going to go ahead and list all the apps that you've downloaded to this point. You can see here CF Oliver that we just got. In this list, you can see your order number, the name, which is a link that will let you download the app. You can see the date at which you purchased it, and then this will actually be a, a link that will let you download the update if one exists for the app that you currently have. 
then this column is your license key. So if you happen to buy an app or download an app that has a license key involved with it, within one business day, the license key will show up here after you purchase the app or download it. And then if the developer has provided a manual, it'll be here with a link to download or view the PDF. So as you can see, um, if I want to re-download CF Oliver, I can just click it, and it'll actually let me download it again right here in case I need to and if I come down here to say uh, this new test app I can see that there's a new version available for this app so if I click that it'll actually give me the download and next time I come to this page that uh, new version 1.04 since that's my current version now it no longer has the update so that's how people can get updates they also can subscribe to the thread on the forum that gets automatically created for these apps so you can also subscribe to that and get automatic emails so that's all the information within the my account page so you can get all the updates for all the apps that you've downloaded